Selling products is the heart of business. It's the heart of the world. Selling and buying makes the planet tick. And these are five winning products that I really think are good to sell right now. Firstly, we're gonna be going through the basics. Who are you gonna sell this to on a fundamental level, the price and what the product is. And then later on, we're gonna be going through interest targeting, demographics and creatives for how to build it out. Not to mention looking at the competitor stores, Google Trends and a whole bunch of other nonsense that's gonna help us all sell better. Okay, sound good, sound good, let's go. So we're gonna get into it with the first product, but before we do that, I just wanna apologize because I'm gonna be looking at my laptop for a lot of this video. These beautiful slides have been built out here by Rylitzer at Debutify, brand new at Debutify, and she is an absolute star. These slides are really detailed, and I'm gonna give them away at the bottom of the description, or maybe at the top of the description. But if you wanna like, this video, once I reach 100 likes on this video, I will put these slides out there for you guys. Thank you! Right now, they're not on the video, but um, probably in a couple of hours, once you've smashed that like button, they'll be there. Okay. Product number one is a desktop vacuum cleaner. It's coming in at a cost price of $15.76. The price that people are selling it at on competitor stores are $29.99. And obviously the profit for that will be $14.23. This is a need product because it's an upgrade to the classical cloth. I'm a bit old fashioned, I'll probably always like to use a cloth, but I could probably get persuaded with the right creative that this is necessary. It's gonna do probably a far better job getting into those creases inside of your keyboard. It can also vacuum up other areas of your desk. So we'll get into the creatives later, but right now at a basic level, you wanna target this to 24 to 44 year olds. I'll expand on that later. Product number two is a foldable baby bathtub. It is a little bit deceptive on AliExpress. You're not getting a bathtub, you're just getting a little support network that's gonna help the baby be safe inside of a bathtub. Now. It is adjustable, so it can go on many different sizes of bathtub, which means that it's got a broad reach as a product. So it costs $11.32. The price on competitors' websites I've seen is $68.63, and the profit is $57.31. Whoa. Whoa there! Once again, the target audience is gonna be 24 to 44, and later on I'll expand on who we're gonna be targeting that to and what creatives we will use. Definitely gonna be a need product for mothers and fathers because it's a safety product. You're always gonna to wanna to protect your newborn child and why not have an extra layer of safety when you're washing your newborn child? And that is exactly what this product does. Okay, product number three, LED flashlight gloves. These are pretty cool and a need product for people who work in the dark. So that's your first little tip there of who to target it to. It costs $6.81. The price on competitor stores is $22.19, so the profit is $16.18. The target audience, I've said, is 24 to 54 years old because that is targeting people who are still in the workplace. Product number four is a electric wine bottle opener. This is an upgrade essentially from the traditional corkscrew that's manual, um, which you open wine bottles with. So we're gonna be targeting this to people who are a little bit older, maybe who suffer from arthritis um, or who have sore wrists. Target audience of 34 to 64, because you know this is an automatic variation compared to a manual variation. And it's just gonna make people's lives easier. So if you sell it with that in mind, you're off to a good start. And the fifth product today is a shark toy. It's not quite intuitive from the image adverts what exactly it is. Once you start doing some digging on the AliExpress link that I will share in the slides, once you put your hand in, it bites you and then the kids go crazy. I mean, you'll see a video. So the cost, $4.37. The price on competitors' websites is $29.99 and so the profit is $25.62. You're gonna wanna target that to 24 to 44 year olds who have young newborns. Because it's really a toddler toy. It's not really for like kids who are like six, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's more for people who are like zero to four. 
And yeah, I think it's um, pretty cool. It does work if you don't have batteries, but it also got some extra features if you buy batteries for it. That means that people who buy it don't have to spend extra, it still works as it comes. Okay, and now on to the second part of the video where we get a little bit creative. I'm not Bob Ross, I am Konica Lewis, and I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna try and showcase my best efforts for how to target these products. Now obviously this is a free course and I'm not gonna build out creatives for you guys, but I have had a look at what other people are doing in the space and all that that's really gonna do for both of us is gonna provide inspiration. Best of luck to you if you choose to sell these products. I do recommend that they're pretty good, um, but also if you've got some products that you wanna give to me, put them in the comments. I'm open, I, I wanna learn. Give it to me now! So feel free to school me in the comments. I'm about to do my best to teach you how to sell these. Let's go back to product number one, shall we? The desktop vacuum cleaner. I would recommend targeting this to people who like Apple, Dell, Intel, purely because it's for people who work remotely. Um, if they've liked Slack, Trello, Teams, that shows that they're working remotely as well. Maybe even throw an Upwork in there for a freelancer or Fiverr as an interest because they're probably working remotely. But also, this is just for anybody who's working in an office home situation because it's just a little tool that you can carry around with you. It's very small, very nimble. You could take it to the workplace. Not that many people are actually in workplaces right now, but you could also definitely clean at home. Housekeeping. So our first store today is Shop Feeling. They've done a pretty good job at um, keeping the text congruent, which is one of my pet peeves. I really like how they've used the same text on their images and on the copy. They've included a lot of kids in there to showcase that it's really user friendly. It's so intuitive that young kids can use it. Great little website there. No video ads on here, but we've looked already. Basically demonstration creative, which is what I wrote before I even saw this video. With these sorts of things, you really wanna showcase the actual power of the product, what it can pick up. So they're showing sand, they're showing coffee beans, Coffee beans for me are a bit cheeky because they're really light. They're just like a, a little bit bigger, um, but it's showing you how you can carry it around. It's really portable. And like I said earlier, it's so intuitive. The other thing it's showing is because it's so small, you can get it into those really small spaces around your office. And it even comes with a little brush attachment that you can put to go through your keyboard. Okay, now let's have a look at the second product, the foldable baby bathtub. I would be targeting this to people who like baby formula because people who've expressed interest in actually purchasing baby formula, they not only definitely have kids, but they're also showing that they're an engaged shopper and they buy things online. So if you put in something like Similac, um, that was just one of the baby formulas I looked up, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Um, and then there's other baby clothing brands like Yum and Abby and Finn. So, um, yeah, I would definitely be putting those in. I'm not, I'm not a father and um, I don't know those brands, but it didn't take me very long to figure out what the best brands in the niche are. Really clean website and they're fully investing in the baby niche with a little baby on their logo. Again, no video ad on the website, but I'll show you the Facebook ad in a second. Really like this website because it's got lots of images. This was kind of inspiring for me just covering um, one part of the page in images instead of stacking them down the side traditionally or having a carousel. So yeah, straight away, this is probably what I was gonna do anyway. So when bath time comes, we use the babies for the I've actually got a voiceover. You don't really see voiceovers a lot, um, but I think they're really great off Facebook and Instagram because the sound isn't automatically turned off. So this would be great on your own website to use a voiceover in a demonstration video like this or on Instagram TV or on YouTube. Um, but yeah, basically it's just showing you through the features. It's BPA free, it's foldable, it's lightweight, and it's showing you that it's keeping your baby safe. These things are, you know, almost common sense. I shouldn't be sharing it with you, but you know, there are some horrible ads out there. That's really cool, really high quality, showcasing how the product works. Okay, so now let's have a look at the LED flashlight gloves. I would be targeting this one to people who are still in the workforce, as I said earlier, but also tradies. So you're gonna have to look at brands that tradies would buy. These are really like robust working clothes. For example, Cat, 
Dickies. And then also what I thought would be good is get down into specifics like Delta faucets, because this would be really useful for plumbers. So if you can think of brands that electricians, plumbers, people who actually work in the dark would be likely to use, then target to that as well. Okay, so yeah, not a sleek website, but um, it is informative. Buy two, the second is 20% off. Okay, brilliant. Um, yeah, they've got a nice little GIF here to showcase how it works. It's waterproof. Um, and then they've got looks reviews down the bottom. So yeah, this is kind of inspiring to me because it's showing me that the competitors out there aren't doing too well. Um, and there's lots of room for improvement here. Okay, so this is from the same store and it's basically just a demonstration showcasing exactly what the product can do, how much light it spills onto the task at hand. I really like how they don't use another light, they're actually just showcasing it with this light. And they're showing a bit of urgency and they're showing this sort of old bad way, new good way where someone has to hold this torch behind you and it's like not really working. But this comes later at the advert. I would have put this at the beginning to really emphasize that the old way is going out of the door. This is not the way to discover things underground to see, to work in the dark without a light. And of course you can do that classically with black and white at the beginning and then color at the end. If you have any of your own ideas on how to you know, target these, how to make creatives for them, uh, feel free to share them in the comments with us and um, everybody can learn together. But right now, let's have a look at the electric wine bottle opener. So I'd be targeting this to people who actually like wine, obviously, so one way to do that would be to find really popular brands. If you're gonna target it to the USA, for example, a really popular brand in the USA is Barefoot and um, Dark Horse. If I was gonna target it to New Zealand, it would be something like Oyster Bay. And um, you know, you get the picture. Wherever you're gonna target to, probably find the wines that people recognize and that people trust around you. Let's have a look at the competitors. Okay, really sleek, um, nice, big website here. Showcasing on the bottom hand GIFs, exactly how it works. You just pop it down and it's gonna drill out that cork for you. Showcasing the size, it's got a little LED light. Um, looks really quite intuitive. Um, nothing really out of the ordinary here. Pretty simple website, it's a pretty simple product and they've marketed it in a very sort of standard beginner way. So just an extension of the GIF really, just demonstrating it with one camera and then another view, just you know, you kind of get the picture so I guess they've just repeated themselves here, third time. Uh, I wonder if they can do four. Okay, so they do it three times in 19 seconds. Buy it now. Okay, I probably wouldn't be saying buy it now if I was selling it. So there's some inspiration for you guys to try and sell this product. It's interesting there because I would have really, if it was me marketing this product, I would have really showcased the old bad way because this is an automatic replacement of the manual corkscrew. Um, all you have to do is just hold down your finger and it just sort of does it all for you. It's a robot really, fundamentally. So you really want to show people like on that pain point, like oh, I just can't do it, it's so tricky. There is a bit of a knack to it. Like I was a bartender for six years, you've really got to figure out how to pop that corkscrew out of the wine bottle and there's a bit of pressure on you to not screw it up. So you could really showcase to people like, you can say, look, this is the old way, no one has to do this anymore. You don't have to stress, this is the solution. Um, so I would probably do something like that if I was gonna market it. I'm not really interested in it though, but that could be for you. Okay, and now let's have a look at the fifth product, the shark toy. Probably wanna target this to kids shops like Kids R Us, and also big brands like Hasbro, Nordstrom, and that's gonna allow you to target to people who are buying kids toys. So Liule, um, or Liulete, pretty cool, nice website showcasing exactly what's going on. There's a couple of like finicky things here that I don't like, like really pixelated pictures, but you know, Vegas can't be choosers. I'm just trying to get some inspiration. Bit of a confusing thing on the top, 5% off $39 code Y5A, 10% off over 59 code Y10A. If you're gonna build out codes for your customers, you need to make it really obvious. I'd probably just put like discount five as the code. Then people can remember it and they can put it in at the end of the day. Love this kid as well, <laughs> just like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just basically just showcasing it. Lots of images here, not much copy. You get the idea. So just kind of showing exactly what happens. You, you, you're playing the game and you figure out which of the teeth will close on your hand. Uh, probably would have been better to expand on that. It's quite a short video. You can just see that it's kind of amateur. It would be much better to get this in HD 
um, and maybe a better angle. You really want to showcase the customers using the product, not just the product themselves. You want to show people that if they buy this product, they themselves will be happy just like the people in this video, you know? You need to think about that psychologically. Just showing the product, you're kind of like, is this an advert for a product or is this just some video, some meme, so to speak, that's just being circulated? You need to make it really obvious to people that this is a product that you want them to buy. There's no call to action at the end there as well, so you need to make that intuitive and idiot proof. Okay, so one more thing I wanna do before we close up this video is I wanna have a look at Google Trends. So to go back to the beginning, the desktop vacuum cleaner, mate. All right, it's absolutely peaking on the side here. Absolutely peaking, 27th of December, it's going up. Not to say that it's not gonna crash, um, but it is showing us that there's some interest in the niche and in the actual search terms. Um, so if you just scroll down, you can see related topics, vacuum cleaner, obviously like massive, people are always gonna need those, um, but this is a smaller, more targeted search term just for desktops. You know, if I was to market it, I'd probably change the keywords to like office vacuum cleaner or like portable vacuum cleaner, like something that really shows that it's, it's not just for a desktop computer, but it's also for laptops. You know, you wanna just broaden your reach. I would, yeah, I would probably just do something like that. A look at the baby bathtub. So you can see that at the beginning of last year, we had a bit of a spike here with the baby bathtub and it's kind of got this intermittent um, activity throughout the year with it just peaking again uh, last month. So that is sort of suggesting that we might have another spike again in January, but the past obviously doesn't reflect the future always. But this is just showing that we do have some interest over time. Don't have enough data to figure out where it's coming from, but that is um, showing you that it is being searched for. Okay, and the Google Trends for the LED flashlight gloves. We have a spike that is bigger than all of the ones previously right now which is really good for people who want to sell it. So because people are searching for it, that means that if you've set up your SEO on your Shopify store correctly, you will not only find yourself on the search terms, but you can also get on the back of this, this interest by adding your product to Google through the Shopify app store. I'll just show you quickly how to do that. But what you can do is you can list your products on Google through Shopify. Um, you just want to have it as a sales channel. So the Google sales channel is where you can add your own products. Um, so they can come down on that carousel when people search terms like this. So people will be searching in LED flashlight gloves. You wanna be the store that's right there when people search that in. And because the interest over time is peaking right now, it would be a good time to do that. And that is why we make these videos. All right, and the electric wine automatic bottle opener basically has the same thing happening. So don't really need to explain that but getting exactly what's going on here. And then we have the biting toys search terms. So we have a bit of interest growing over time with a few peaks and a few troughs, but mainly it is hanging around the 25 to the 50 mark and, and has a few peaks around Christmas. And then the only one on Google Trends out of these five products that actually has interest by subregion. So California, Texas, and New York are showing that people are interested in this kind of toy. So that is just, again, useful information for you to figure out who to target to. Okay, and that is that. I'm glad that you watched this all the way to the end. If you did enjoy this new style that I'm doing with winning products where I'm showcasing the creatives, the Google Trends, and how to market to people, please let me know in the comments. If that was useful to you, I really do wanna know. I make one of these videos a month. Basically, it's just up to you. If you do want to see something, if you wanna learn something, you just gotta ask. Um, we do try our best here at Debutify. Otherwise, that's that, that's the end of this video. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna see anything else. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good day, see ya.